Hi, I'm Shelly Badger, and today we're going to be playing Laser Tattoo Removal. So this is a surgery, uh, it's a Surgeon Games game. Uh, they have a multitude of games on their website that you can play, and I've done two in the past, which some of you might have seen. The Thanksgiving one, where you prep a turkey, and the second one, which was helping a woman give birth, because we all know that you would trust me with giving birth. Or, <laughs> I was gonna say you would trust me with giving birth to your child. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean you would trust me to help you through labor. <laughs> this has already started. Fantastic. Gone. All right, let's do this. Welcome to Surgery oh. Squad's laser tattoo removal. Oh. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be assisting you with this procedure today. Hi, Dr. Susie. According to a recent poll, over 50% <laughs> of those with tattoos want at least one removed. Hmm. They cited being too young when they got it, a new career, or significant life changes, such okay. as divorce or childbirth, as reasons why they no longer want them. Luckily, there's laser tattoo removal. Laser tattoo removal is a procedure that uses a powerful laser that reacts with the ink of a tattoo Whoa. to break it down into tiny particles. Interesting. The laser directly targets the tattoo pigment and leaves the surrounding skin virtually untouched. After the ink is broken down, it is removed by the body's immune system, oh, creating a natural-looking <laughs> fade that typically only time or sun exposure would produce. Ah. Although laser tattoo removal is considered highly effective after multiple treatments, those interested need to keep in mind that yellow, oh. green, and fluorescent tattoo inks are much more difficult to fade. Interesting. Our patient today is a male in his mid-twenties that got a tattoo on his calf when he was a teenager. Now that he's older, he doesn't see the tattoo as being so attractive anymore. In fact, he's come to us to get it removed. So let's scrub in and see what we can do for him. I was going to say, maybe it's that tattoo Before we begin, we need to go back in time to the day he picked out his tattoo. Help him pick out a real winner. Use the arrows to scroll through the tattoos. Click choose when you have made up your mind. Wait, wait, I get to choose which tattoo I get to remove from this guy? Okay, let's see. Let's, let's, let's make a choice. Roll them bones. I don't know. That seems like something you want to keep on you forever. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, he looks so sly. He's like, ah! <laughs> like, what's going on with this, this right here? Look at his poor little eyes and his, I was going to say poor little mouth, but his mouth is like pretty much the size of his head. It's over half the size of his head. Is What kind of cat is that? It looks like a cat mixed with a dog. Might be a little bit of Sasquatch in the middle. That's interesting. I'd like to know the backstory of that. Do we get to know the backstory of why he chose these tattoos? Because I would like to know. Spring Break 99? <laughs> no! Why would so? Well, I know why. Because he's probably drunk off his ass. <laughs> he's some beer bongs and shit. God damn, that is awful. But you know, I will say, the lines are very clean and crisp. Actually, uh, I want to say, I kind of think that one looks pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I personally wouldn't get it tattooed on me, but I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, I don't have any tattoos on me. Um, not because I don't like tattoos. Far from it, actually. I love seeing people's different beautiful artwork on them. I just have an issue with needles that deals with a seizure type medical condition. And the last thing I would need is, you know, to be like having a seizure while someone's putting a needle. I feel like the art's not exactly going to come out clean and crisp on the lines, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, let's move on. Princess B <laughs> What even is going on? I really hope that this was not a tattoo that, like, the person actually did, like, hit the nail on the head with how this child looks. Because I don't like to call babies ugly. So we'll just leave it at that. Oh, Princess Bev, no. <laughs> you need to you need to go hide somewhere dark. Whence you came. <laughs> Type text here. No, wait, wait. Did he say it was on his calf? Because that seems more like it would be on your lower back, you know? Like a <clears throat> I don't like using this term, but um a tramp stamp, you know? And I'm I mean <laughs> I appreciate the look of it. In all its glory. Although I do kind of wish that there was some dolphins with butterfly wings on them. I actually think it would be pretty funny if someone got a 
stamp of the lower back region. Um, like purposely done to look absolutely cheesy. And who knows, maybe, maybe that's what he was going for. Maybe I shouldn't take that away from him. Maybe that is what he's trying to do. All right, so we're back at the beginning. So, hmm, I wish I could do like some magical poll here to be like, which one should I choose? But I guess I'll just have to choose it on my own and hope that you guys like what I picked. I think I kind of want to pick Princess Bed. <laughs> Cause I feel like the spring break one, you made poor decisions of drunkenly getting a tattoo. Maybe, maybe you should leave that on there as a reminder not to be super drunk and getting a tattoo, which typically most tattoo artists won't even tattoo someone who is drunk in the first place because obviously that's a terrible idea. It's irresponsible, unprofessional. And I mean, they also, from what I've heard, you might bleed more because of the alcohol in there. But I don't know, I'm totally getting off on a tangent. We're picking Princess Beth. I'm sorry, Princess, but you're going down. I'm gonna fight you, baby. Oh, wait, are we tattooing it on him first? We shouldn't have, what? I thought we were removing, not adding. Yikes, she doesn't really look like that, does she? Let's oh. make that tattoo disappear. <laughs> oh, she's During fancy. our patient's initial consultation, <laughs> It was recommended that he take a non-aspirin pain medication prior to the procedure oh, yes, to I reduce any discomfort he may experience. Oh, other than that, well, there the really isn't any other aspirin. preparation needed. So, so let's get started. I'm assuming. A lot of patients describe the pain from the laser as feeling like a hundred rubber bands striking the skin at the same time. Oh, okay. So to begin the procedure, we'll need to place a cold compress on the tattoo for a few seconds. Okay. This will help reduce the pain caused by the laser. Go ahead and place the cold compress on the tattoo. All right, but I have to ask before I do this, is there a reason why his calves look like potato chips? I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry. All right, let's, let's, let's chill out. Let's chill out here. Jeff's instant chill pack. That will do. Okay. Now we need to use oh, the laser to fade the tattoo. Color. Different okay. types of lasers react with certain colors of tattoo ink. Interesting. One laser might work perfectly for reds and oranges, but not so great on greens or black. So right. we'll use a variety of lasers to get the desired result. Get it. To help relieve some of the pain associated with the procedure, yeah. we'll also use a machine that blows icy cold air on the area being treated. Okay. Let's start by targeting any red or orange ink areas. All right. Well, I'm not colorblind, so this should be this should be easy. I'm gonna go crazy. Woo! <laughs> How long do I do this? I think I got all of it. Right? Man, I'm like a pro. No, I'm just not. Sorry, I really wanted to get her in the eye. She's scaring me. Ah, Next what? Up is green, blue, or other darker colors. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. Oh wait, black. God. Okay, I take it back. I'm bad at this. <laughs> I was going for the black guy. That's what we're doing next. I jumped. I was way too excited. Oh wait, we got a little over here. I saw that. I'll see you. Okay. So I think I think we got all of it. <laughs> Oh, finally, we'll remove the black. All right, so I heard her correctly this time. You can trust me to remove your tattoos. I can remove your babies from your vaginal orifices to give them to you, or I can remove your babies off your potato chips. Free of charge. It's just me being, it's part of the, the badger package that you get from subscribing. Now that we've completed the first oh! treatment, we'll need to place looks... the cold compress on the treatment area to relieve some of the pain. <laughs> she looks, she looks terrifying. <laughs> I thought she looked terrifying before, and now she's just like, free, free, free. Oh God! All right, go back. Let's let's cover, let's cover Princess Beth a little bit. Let's let's cover that up so we don't have to make eye contact too much. You did great. Our patient is ready to go. Yes. Immediately after each treatment. The tattoo may feel sunburned, and it is okay. extremely important to keep it covered until it heals. That makes if our sense. patient fails to do this, both his recovery and the results of the treatments may be negatively affected. Roll the bandage over the treated area. Okay. <gasps> Wait, how do I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like legitimately trying to roll it. As stated roll earlier, out. our patient's tattoo will only begin to fade after multiple treatments. E so he shouldn't expect the tattoo to go away during one session. Okay. So While the tattoo may not here. be completely removed, 
It should be lighter and much less visible than before. Bye, Princess Beth! And that's laser tattoo <laughs> removal. Well wow. done! Why that's not try your awesome. surgical skills in another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com? Awesome! <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, or if you'd, you know, like to uh, get your tattoo removed by moi, then hit the like button down below or leave a comment of a tattoo that maybe you wanted when you were young that you were so grateful you did not get. I can think of one that I wanted when I was young that I'm glad I wasn't able to get. Uh, it was, so, <laughs> I mean... I was a super goth kid growing up, and I mean, I still have the goth in me, but you know, she's a little more, she's not so like black lipstick and stuff, although I still do like black lipstick. Anyways, um, but <laughs> I had wanted like this like emperor scorpion on my back in the lower back <laughs> region, <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, I mean, I've always loved arachnids, as well as insects like I've always been a bug type person and I mean I have several tarantulas at home um, that are my pets uh, but yeah that's what I wanted and I don't know why I mean I didn't want any of the little like <laughs> little spirals and stuff around it or barbs but and no offense to anybody that has spirals or barbs tattooed on them or even a scorpion with my luck I'm probably someone is probably watching this that has a scorpion on their lower back <laughs> and to you no, this is not offense to you. It's just for me personally, it would not have looked right. It wouldn't have looked good. I just know it. I know it wouldn't have. And I'm so glad I didn't get it done. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay like I said before. <laughs> and if you'd like to see more, then hit the subscribe button. I will see you next time. Bye.